I had to learn how to release a spirit. Out, if I needed healing, I had to learn how to release it out of my spirit into my own flesh. Now, I was very good at releasing it out of my spirit and into somebody else's spirit because that's what I did. So I had to kind of reverse engineer that and go, okay, how does that work? So then I said, okay, so what I'm now in the beginning, I did exactly what I do for them. I would lay my hands on whatever part was sick or hurt or whatever it was. And then I realized it doesn't really matter because spirit covers everything. And so then at one point I said, okay, so I'm just going to make this a closed circuit, right? And I'm just going to put my hands together and ask a close. It stays here. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays right. I know that's silly, but it was just a way that I could visualize it. And so then I started saying, okay, then I realized that when I lay hands on it, I am directing the Spirit of God by my faith. The Spirit follows my faith. My faith is my intention. What do I intend to happen? I intend the Spirit to heal their body, whatever sick. So I just said, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose by faith to release my, the Spirit of God out of my spirit and into my flesh. And my intention is that pain, that illness, whatever it is, to be healed. So the intention, my faith went to that place, took the Spirit with it, and the intention was to be healed, and that's what I got because that's what I believe for. Amen. And when I did that, the thing left, right? And I can tell you uh, many, many, many times this happened over 40 years, right? And so I've learned how to do that. So for you, the real key, listen, it is not God's will that if you get sick that you have to find somebody to get healed. That is not God's will. Now, he, he made provision for it because he knows there's levels of growth. That's why he said in James, if any, there be any sick among you, let him call for the elders, and they'll come, and they'll anoint them with oil, pray over them in the name of the Lord, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. So he made provision for it, right? But as you grow, you have to realize you're the one delivering the power to the people. So you've got to learn for yourself and not run to somebody else, but get it for yourself because we're supposed to be first partakers of whatever it is we're preaching or doing. He wants you to be able to receive healing. Because that's what he said in Romans chapter 8. He even tells you that if the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwell in you, then he will quicken, make alive, heal your mortal bodies by that same spirit that, ra that dwells in you, is what he says. So he wants to heal you by the spirit that dwells in you. Because when I lay hands on you, all I'm doing is kind of packing in more of the same spirit you got. And I pack in enough to drive out the sickness. It's just like taking a bottle that has muddy water in it, taking the lid off, putting it under a water faucet, and turn it on, and you just keep flowing water in. In a few minutes, guess what? It's going to be all clear water in there. Why? Because you just flushed it out with the clean water. That's all I do. When I lay hands on you, I'm just flushing out the garbage by putting in the clean water of the spirit into your bottle into your spirit, and it goes out and drives out the garbage. That's all I'm doing, right? See, that's what you can do, and you can do it for yourself. You don't need my hands. You see? Now, see, if I was trying to create job security, I would tell you, you need my hands. But I'm not trying to create job security. I'm trying to do my job and help you grow up to look like Jesus. Who did Jesus ever go to to say, here, I'm not feeling good. Would you lay hands on me right here? Can you picture Jesus doing that? Of course not. Why not? But you're supposed to be just like him. Why? Because as he is, so are we in this world. Amen? Amen. So all you have to do is, I'm going to tell you, just decide right now. If you're sick in your body, something going on, here's what you do. I'm going to show you. You just decide right now. The Spirit of God dwells in your spirit, in your belly. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay? But he dwells there, and you just decide by faith. Right now, I am releasing his spirit into every cell in my body. And any cell, any organ that is sick, any sickness in my body right now, that spirit that raised Jesus from the dead drives out that sickness or disease out of my body. And you just take a second and let it do it. And you choose to decide to believe. And when you do, what you believe is what is going to happen. 
If you believe total healing, you're going to get totally healed. If you believe partial healing, you're going to get partially better. If you believe, well, it'll probably start now and end three days from now, then you're going to get a progressive healing. Why? Because you get what you believe. It's a law. There's no way around it, right? Well, no, you don't understand. I know I'm believing. I'm sorry, but I'm going to trust Jesus, not you, right? You think you're believing, but if you're not well, you're not believing. It's just that simple. I'm not putting you down, just saying, decide to believe the Word of God. It's a choice. Amen? Amen. All right, so let's do it. Y'all want to do that real quick? Yes. Two minutes. I mean, it doesn't even take that long, right? Just right now. Just close your eyes. Get everything else out of your mind. Don't even think about stuff, right? And just decide right now. Decide if there's sickness in your body, if there's something. It doesn't matter what it is or where it is. Just right now, just decide. Out of my belly will flow rivers of living water, and it's going to flow out of my spirit and into my flesh. And right now, as it goes out, it drives out. It's going right to where it needs to go. It goes to the, to the sickness. It goes to the dry ground, so to speak. And this water of the Spirit of God goes to that place and drives it out. And right now, I release the Spirit of God into my flesh in Jesus' name. And by His stripes, I am healed. And just let it work. Just let it go. Just relax. Don't tense up. Just relax. Let him work. He's doing it. You're not doing it. You're just believing. He's doing the work. And his life is flowing into your flesh. And how do you know that? Because all I'm doing is preaching the word to you. And his words are life and health to all their flesh, he says. His spirit, his words. His words are spirit and they are life and they are health to your flesh. That spirit that is in you is life and health to your flesh in Jesus' name. Amen.